Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for a new long run. And uh, starting us off here, I do have a guest with me. It's uh, Zuzio. Hi. And you're the one who requested this, aren't you? I did. So there's there's not much uh, not much of a secret about uh, what I'm playing this time. I have I have not been vague about this game like I tend to be because this is a request and you had given me two options I believe right yeah it was either this game or uh, Bug Fables yeah and I've never even heard of that one it's really cool you should check it out maybe after you finish the playlist just then <laughs> <laughs> well I might check it out I don't know if I'm going to play it on here because I have many things that I want to play on the on the long run Oh, no, yeah, absolutely. Just play it on your own time. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, here we are, and this time we're going to be playing Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Yay. So, let's get her started. Uh, let's, actually, let me just make sure that everything is working fine here. Oh, I didn't turn on game audio. It might be a good idea for me to do that so y'all hear it. That would be ideal. Yeah. Okay. Press start. And uh sorry I didn't start on the uh on the GameCube intro screen, but uh for some reason it's kind of tricky to actually get Dolphin set up, so I wanna make sure that's actually working before I actually start streaming. <laughs> no, that's fair. <laughs> The GameCube noise is iconic, though. Yes, for sure. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. Did you say 1,000 years ago? Yes. And it was a town where all people lived. This text is going too fast, and I can't control it. But one day, tragedy befell this pleasant place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon sprang about, spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. I am not gonna get Peach's voice right, but uh, finally, I have a minute without Toast who watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toesworth is so stifling. Once in a while I'd like to take the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all that I see is that this town has a very um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. You mean me? Yes, you and Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, um... Huh. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It's said that this box holds a map that shows where, the, where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock, uh, lock on it and that will only open for a pure noble heart. 
As you can see, it won't so much as budge if such my soul touches it. Hmm. I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I am sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? A lot, probably. <laughs> and one of the best songs, honestly, on the <laughs> GameCube is right here. Oh yeah. But I might just leave it on the file select screen for a little bit, cause uh <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th this is a game that uh, that I have played a long time ago, and uh, I don't know if I've finished it more than the one time. Uh, what's your experience with the game? Yeah, I definitely played it a long time ago. I think I played it more than once, but it's been a long time for me too. Yeah, I I did I did at one point start playing um, a basically a wrong hack of this called Book of Mario Thousands of Doors. <laughs> uh, have you heard of that one? It's the one with like the really funny text right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I I've probably mentioned it before, honestly. Probably. <laughs> oh wait, I have to use the stick. <laughs> what a better translation of Book of Mario Thousands of Doors. I was just talking about that, Terry. Yeah, it's about time they, they have to do the translation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had thought about doing that one instead, but I was like, eh, you requested this. You didn't request Book of Mario Thousands of Doors. I indeed do not, although that does so, sound funny, but no, let's just play this. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's do the proper nostalgic thing. Yeah. And actually, like, one thing that I discovered is that they don't translate all of the text in that game. Um, uh, like, in anything that is not, that that is out of the way of the main plot, they didn't bother with. Oh, really? Huh. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I'm gonna start the game here once the uh, once the song loops back around, which it's almost to the point where I'm gonna actually get it started. Mm. Just this part right here, right? Like th this is a song that even though I have not played this for quite some time, it's stuck with me pretty well because just the like the way that it sounds is great. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Uh, fun. Also, I don't like how it depends so much on the stick, but I also get it like you wouldn't usually use the the D-pad all that much. Uh, oh yeah, the yeah. Game. I'm also not going to get Luigi's voice right, by the way. <laughs> How dare. Mail call! It's very carry. <laughs> That's from the first game, I believe. Yes. Mm. Best partner. <laughs> hey, Baho! Check it out! A letter from Prince Princess Peach arrived for you! <laughs> I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? <clears throat> now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Brookport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it in, uh, with you when you come. On Beach at Roadport, that means you must come. Peach! 
Also, thank you, Mazzy, for the gift sub to um, Jet Chakal. Also, hello, Mazzy. <laughs> what do you know? It's true. There's a Woodsville map in here with the letter. Check it out. You have your UV keys. Excellent. He does. So by the way, we're playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. <laughs> Just, Just in so case you weren't know. aware. Yeah, it's the case that that screen it doesn't tell you to have that information, you know. <laughs> oh it, no. It might take a minute to figure out how to use the UV key when you first get it, but uh it's not that hard to get into. Uh, I can I can help you out with that after the stream if you want. The prologue, a rogue's welcome. Excuse me, Nor. sir. Uh, in about three hours and forty-five minutes, so you're probably gonna be asleep. But let me know tomorrow. <laughs> Please wake up, sir. The time you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogue Port. Oh. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Park Park. That's not what we meant. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed by a bit of rough weather. Uh, just a bit by rough weather. Are you sure, quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sort of details about Rogueport on the way here, did I not? I'm on royal order, so you know. <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry? You say there was a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. <laughs> but, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ooh, the emulator didn't like that. Oof. Well, thanks for lurking, Mazzy. Sir, <laughs> what you got is called spam. You've been catfished, sir. <laughs> <laughs> So, pretty much I'm going to do the same thing as I do uh, with um, Xenoblade 3, which is any text that is not uh, directly based on the, uh, like, any, any text that is not... Like, plot relevant? Plot relevant, yes, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm probably just going to blow through for the most part. Yeah, that... That makes sense for your sanity. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, uh, sorry, that was Goombella. Oh, come <laughs> off it, you airhead! I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me! I've seen you walking around town asking for, in asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know. Right now! Never! I don't have to, to say... I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew! Well, it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. Do you command, Lord Crump? Throw on it. No, stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream, really. Oh God, this looks like a beard. I can't go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. Not likely. Well, what do you think you're doing, chum? You, you think you can screw up my plans? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty easy, actually. Yeah, it's always something. But I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumpa bomb. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh no, can't flee this fight. Oh no. Foul time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat the f at this freak of the week, okay? 
You don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. How do you know I can do that? <laughs> yeah, you just kind of... That's a lot of assumptions to make about a person. But then again, you're right, so... <laughs> Oh, by the way, I might know how to stylish. I'll explain that later. Nice. Sweet! You know that hurt! Well, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. You got him on the ropes! Come on, keep it up and wheeling on him. I'll, I'll get used to the defense uh, timing in not too <laughs> long here. I just gotta get back into it. Yeah. There we go. You so did you it! Say you, you did it! So you can say you do know about time hits. Yes. <laughs> you did it! You did it! Yes! Hey, you got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but if you get these things called, you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that. Uh, don't forget that, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you get a couple of decent shots, shots in, and I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means it's go time. <laughs> Punish him! By showing off the game keeps hardware. <laughs> Pick this way! It's gonna defeat us with power teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here, what do you say? But yes, you can stylish multiple times depending on the attack. We'll get into what it we'll get into why to do that later on when it's relevant. Yeah, right now it does look like nothing. <laughs> Stop! Where'd they go? Huh? You, Johnson, did you see him? Did anyone? Uh, crud, they bolted. That wasn't very good teamwork, guys. Yeah, that, that was very poor showing. <laughs> wow, mister! You totally saved me! Thanks! I just got to give you a little reward. Oh my. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here! Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty! I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if there wasn't some legendary treasure here. Interesting pop up there in the back. Yeah. <laughs> what? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 Bucko, what you got there? Oh my gosh! Is isn't that a treasure map? You have gotta tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? Great hoogly boogly! Fellas and Master Mario! Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place. Hmm? Oh, -ho. oh -ho. Some, someone just got flattened back there. I'm sure they're fine. For the most part. So tell me, Master Mario, what, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map? And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing. You're asking me where in person speech is? Uh, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for, for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. 
You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assume I just assume assumed. <laughs> I just assume she'd be back momentarily. But at this point I feel we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. Really? I'm here. I'm gonna fix things. This is what's gonna happen here. Yeah. <laughs> just what, that's just what I do. Yep. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Sure, we'll, surely we'll find her, surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy, this, enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop on in! Oh! God damn it. <laughs> yes, anyway. A little rest there will fill up all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. <laughs> I say. <laughs> um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always gets snapped by Bowser the Koopa King, the one you rescued? And called out. <laughs> Wait a sec, this is crazy! Princess Peach sends you to Treasure Map? Wow, this is really intense! Well, where could she get a uh, where could she have gone then, do you think? You sh you think sh maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Mmm I don't know. Hmm. Ooh ooh, I know! Mario, come with me! One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show we'll show him your map. If you start looking for the treasure, may, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Hmm, excuse me. Then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. And Bella joined your party. Yay. I like her because she's sassy. She is great. Who Bella's abilities? A primer. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Roadport Plaza. It's the center of the town and the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when no when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. That's Goonther the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when there's someone nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Gumbilla can give you hints when she answers, so ask her for information often. And of course, Gumbilla can be quite helpful in battle too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bump. You can also look up an, an enemy HP and weakness with her tattle ability. First off, we gotta find my we gotta go find my prof my professor. Ugh. I'm bad at talking sometimes. I don't know if you could tell. Uh, that's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Somehow I'm telling you a, an entire <laughs> picture by talking to you. Makes perfect sense. So I am going to be doing my best to get as many of the tattles as possible. I'm not guaranteeing 100% tattles, but oh, cool. um, they're useful to have because then you see the enemy's HP. Yeah, that's basically the reason you do it. Also, the Harry Morgan Bill assassin. I forget if there's anything useful that I can find here uh, this early. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. Alright. It's a secret to everyone. Don't talk about Fight Club, etc. Etc. <laughs> Wait, what parlor? Hmm. This looks suspicious. I wonder if we'll be able to go there. Hmm. Certainly not. You got a star piece. A lovely piece of a star. 
They're lovely. We're going to be looking for those throughout our adventure. I forget what they're for, but I'll remember <laughs> soon enough. Hmm. Just up there. Not suspicious at all. And just, yep. Pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. How did you tell? <laughs> Good question. I guess you looked up in our uh, status bar, I which guess, hadn't yeah. updated yet. <laughs> I mean, she can show us pictures telepathically, so I, I guess maybe she can <laughs> look at the status bar too. That's entirely possible. That is so lame. Ugh, I hate this town. Oh, well, I guess we're going after our coins. I think we went back here, right? Thing. Maybe in the building? Yeah, probably. Hi. Hey. Hey, yips. Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Yeah. What else you gotta say? I mean, I'm not going to come complain to you specifically every time, <laughs> unless you're the one who keeps doing it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very valid reason to complain. Apparently, my computer doesn't like doing this game, and also the background changing, so I might turn that off. Ooh, there's another star piece. Or, uh, I wasn't... What are they called? Dang it. Was it a star piece? Yeah, star piece. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, give me just a second. I'm gonna turn off the uh, the wallpaper slideshow. Okay. Uh, choose your desktop background. I can't turn it off completely without just disabling it, but I can set it to one day. Uh, that'll probably be good enough. Fine Sprite. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, so rude. Welcome to the home of Merlin the Super Magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three Shine Sprites, I can power up your powers. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So which partner would you like me to power up? Huh? You don't have enough shine sprites! Be gone! Come back with Be me! Gone. <laughs> grumpy old man. Very grumpy. Ah, here he is. It's, it's the guy. Oh, hi there. There you are, Professor Frankly. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. Now you. Uh. I've seen this before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. Get it right. Um, it's not in real. Uh, it's not a lizard. <laughs> hmm. Um. Aha! I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Ah, yes, sir. That's me. I'm Goombella, Junior You Goom. Go Goombas! <laughs> of course, our mascot is Goomba. <laughs> that, that, that is like saying that I come from whatever educational place 
Go humans! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although I'm clearly not a human, I'm a cat, as evidenced at the bottom right of my, of my uh, stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I'm a lizard. Yes. Yes. But there are a lot of humans there, so... Hume you. <laughs> Hume you. <laughs> Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. <laughs> are you? Are you really? Mm, that's questionable. You though, you stick out in my mind because you're such an exceptional student. Our mascot is Eva Human. <laughs> and that guy behind you is... Who? <laughs> Mario, Professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies, I'm such a bookworm, I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure set me below Roquefort. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's, an, it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? you know, there's more students' names than I did when I was... You were a professor, Tyrion? I didn't yep. know that. I didn't know that either. Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure really does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point. Well made. I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, not the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others can claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to, to define the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point. To find the treasure, must one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. That's kind of a crappy rhyme, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Love that's, giving that's classes, about right, but hated everything around it. Lovely. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people passed out? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first collect the seven crystal stars. You need the MacGuffins to get the MacGuffin. Exactly. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then the stars will light the way to lead, the stones, uh, to, lead to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that the, if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then I'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct! And the thousand year door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. If the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. Oh, if only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? What? Humana hoppity the hippity of hoppity hoopida, humana hoopala hoopala, really? <laughs> that was impressive. <laughs> you, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at, if you, look at it if you don't mind? Yoink! Astounding. This is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero! You're great! Fantastic! Wonderful, even! With this, we can finally find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor! But golly, what are we doing just sitting here, then? Umbella, Mario! Off we must go, this instant! Let's take the magical map to the legendary door! Sounds okay. like a plan. Uh, where is the door? I bet you didn't know that this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> Donk. Donk. 
We can use this pipe to get down into the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. Oh wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below. So, uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands, don't you? Yep. Yes, really? we know about time hits. <laughs> A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once just to be safe? Eh, I think I'm, I'm good to show this off. Uh, I'm good, fam. <laughs> a bold young lad, aren't you? Very well then, down we go. Just stand on the pipe and tilt down to enter it. Yeah, I, that's what I'm trying to do, but I have to jump mm -hmm. on there. Saving many times because there's a lot of text that happens in this game, especially early on. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, welcome, Mario. I am Lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing abilities that that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that with which I wish to see. Uh huh. So, shall I see something for you? Um, I don't think we particularly need any of this information right now. No. Uh huh. Is that so? Well, if there is anything you ever want to find, uh, just ask. It's good to know, though, that if I, if ever I start up a stream and forget where I'm going, <laughs> that is a thing that I can do. Indeed. Hey, hey, man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with me, with us for a while? We play really nice. Man, what a fine looking what's a fine looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute, seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel <laughs> make me feel like <laughs> totally barfing. Now get get out of our way. You Gosh, go, girl. That was cold. What you too good for us? Off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. Oh no, we can't escape. What, I, oh, whatever no. will we do? <laughs> We're screwed. <laughs> the Goomba, a spiny Goomba, and a pair of Goomba. My, that's the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fill in the middle, the spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that, and you're the one, and you're the one who will take damage. The parrot Goomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. Always take your opponent's situation into, considering, into consideration when fighting. Always. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you, uh, you to attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Goomba. Don't forget that. And in fact, I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, get the okay. towels out the way. Yeah. Like I said, we're gonna do tattle as much as possible. Yeah. That's a Goomba. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm one of those. If you have, in case you haven't noticed. Really? <clears throat> it says here, Goombas are underlings of underlings. That is totally rude. Rude as fuck. Their maximum HP is two. They have an attack power of one and defense of zero. That means if I do this... See ya. That's not what I meant to do. I, I... See, what happened here is I, uh... I kind of pressed... I, I used the stick instead of... Uh, no, I should have used the stick. I used the control pad. And so that happened. Yeah. So can you not use the control pad for menus? 
Yeah, apparently not. So, some menus, yes. Not that one, apparently. That's Goomba, what odd. was that? Didn't I tell you jumping on the spiny Goomba was bad? <laughs> Call that out. <laughs> um... Tactics defense? You don't want right. to kill him. Uh, I think your HP is also too, so if I just do like... There we go. Nice. Give instead nice on the screen. Okay, so now let's actually do a proper tower. This is Spiky Goomba. Spiky had a Goomba. What a creative name. <laughs> that spike is super pointy, so it's better to hit uh, hit it with a hammer than jump on it. Two, two, and zero. The addition of the spike means that you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Yeah, as we've discovered the hard way. And what I did right there was a super guard, which I don't think the game tells you for a while. Uh, you can guard with A, and uh, that'll prevent some damage. But if you are able to guard with B, which has a much tighter window, uh, it has to be, like, within a frame of the uh, impact. Uh, not only will you negate all damage, you will actually cause a point of damage to the enemy. <laughs> and that's how speeders do the game at, like, level 5. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pair of Goomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 0. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up and it'll totally plummet. It might... I don't know if the game says it. It might only say it like in the manual. I don't remember, actually. Owie! You... Ha! Later on, losers. That felt, that felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where that came from, and they'll all have its influence. When they attack, try to hammer try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Yes, preemptive striking is a thing in this series. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure how I ended up on that platform. Magic. <laughs> there we go. Our first preemptive strike of the game. As I a result... <laughs> <laughs> this fight is over before it begins. As is ideal. Of course, if my time is wrong. Might be a little hard to, to get the proper timing just because I am emulating this. Yeah, I'm sure that's probably an issue. Pressing B uses the hammer on the field. You got an item. You can use items to attack your enemies and replenish your HP. Press start pause and choose items from your gear screen to save items. Really? Wow. Oh, gonna... Hey! Hey! <laughs> Got it anyway. <laughs> uh, there wasn't anything over here right now. Just... 
By the way, you might be wondering, can we fall into the water? Yes, we don't want to. Yeah. We also lose health. <laughs> the and, now, and now because uh, Mario has 5 HP or less, they'll have this animation on the field, and also in battle. Also, it's the stats effect, kinda, and it also can be used to your advantage. <laughs> yes, but we'll get into that later. Anyway, it doesn't look like we doesn't look like we can do anything here, so I guess let's go back. But if that's not the way, then what is? Show me the way. Show me the way to go home. Everybody tired and want to go to bed. <laughs> Mood. Okay, I legit forget where it is I'm supposed to go because I feel like I've been in every direction. That's like good point. Because there you have this. Can't break that. At least not yet. I think you do go down the pipe. I mean, that seems like the only thing, but uh, yeah. like there is only a large switch that we can't do anything about, a large block that we can't do anything about. Dang. No. Oh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I didn't think Go you could break those yet. Yeah, same here. Yeah, now remember that the blocks you can't break yet look different. Those. The angry ones. Angry. <laughs> yep. What, what was, was that? Probably not important. That's a spinia, a totally weird creature made of thin papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a he yeah. Yeah. I love how Mario is still panting despite being in his uh, exit animation. <laughs> and also that you can stylish reading a book, yes. That is pretty lovely. Hmm. Weird platform, but okay. Weird black key, but okay. <laughs> you know what? You can go eat a ham. Oh, you have a friend. A friendo. I forget what the stylish is for uh, for her red bone. in here, I guess. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Who, me? 
Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been waiting here ever since... Uh, I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. Say, so yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> just did. Well, Drat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah? Searching for the Crystal Stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you if you hope to get those bad boys. So first you should look for the key to this box. Then use it to let me out. Definitely. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Telepathically giving you an image of a black key. <laughs> Useful skill. Wish I had it. <laughs> well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, I know my vote goes for goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come well, on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Well, as it turns out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You brought the key! Yes! Oh man, I owe you big. Yes! Think. Haha, <laughs> think nothing! Wee! Fools! <laughs> oh no. Oh no, it's the first boss battle, surely. <laughs> oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. But did you think I was gonna help you? We Instead, gotta... I'm gonna spread a, a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Boogly woogly woo, you're cursed! Curse of epileptic flashes, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. <laughs> Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. <laughs> well, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess. I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y. And then boom, you're a paper airplane. The worst part of this curse is, uh, is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself! Oh no! <laughs> I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. To be honest, isn't, the cur isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? <laughs> I zoned out. What was that? Oh. Oh, that's... <laughs> It can just go through this forever. Yes, I get it. It's terrible. So terrible. <laughs> <laughs> if you press B, it might return to normal. Maybe. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> so, uh, wow. Just, <laughs> wow. What was that guy's beef? What was that guy's beef? Anyway, we're cursed now. We're cursed. Game <laughs> over. Actually, no, yeah. the game is just beginning now. Yeah. <laughs> because now we get to get to go to this door. Which, as it turns out... Ooh. Well, that door sure looks a thousand years old. <laughs> oh, Mario. Umbella. Look at that! Yep, it's a door. <laughs> it's a thousand year door spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come, let's move closer. Mario, do we have to? <laughs> hey, what's the deal with that weird pestle, huh? 
What, what could he think? Well, I don't know. Let's foolhardly jump on it and see what happens, I guess. <laughs> Oh, that's Let's fancy. around and hide that method. Yep. Professor, what's going on? Looks like we got our first destination. Yeah. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Sounds Each good. time you get a crystal star, you learn a new special move. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that information related to the location of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light. It looked as, the, as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Aha! I see. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. First day about the light we saw shining on we we saw. First day about the light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? You wanna try it? Eh, uh, heck why then. What's that? Eh, uh, heck why not. <laughs> Excellent! In that case, we'll go outside since this place is a little cramped. Oh no, turns out he's a boss. Oh no. <laughs> First, take a, look, a close look at your star bar gauge. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power with me so far? When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. At this point, we kind of need it anyway. <laughs> Dang. No. <laughs> there we go. Back up hey. to four. I think that was exactly enough for full health, too, for <laughs> both characters. That's great. Exactly. Since used... hmm? oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Since you used one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Take a look. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience is watching your uh, the audience watching your battles is so very important. Where'd y'all come from? <laughs> <laughs> if you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario, Gumbella, try to attack me, please. That won't do. Perform like that and the audience will feel ripped off, trust me. You have to execute your action commands. Don't get stage fright now. Nice, see that? You thrilled your audience, so they filled up some of your gauge. Nice, 
keep building up that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch you fight. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of members in this audience. Let's actually do the camera. Mario, this is your chance to hit it big. Ooh. Oh. Nail an action nail an action command when you have two matching icons and icon wheels appear. Give it a try. Of course that one is guaranteed. <laughs> but when you get all shine sprites, you get a full audience and full everything else. Seems pretty good. Fantastic! You match the right icons. When you match those icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm the theater. Plus, depending on the icons you match up, your HP, FP, or star power will fill up. But if you get three points in mushrooms, something terrible will happen, so be careful. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. I hope you've memorized all this. It will be on the test. <laughs> Great Goomba's ghost! Mario, look at your audience! Uh-oh. Does that guy have a hammer? He does, the bum! He means to toss it at you! If the audience members hit you with anything, you'll take damage, obviously. You need to press X to stop them before they hit you. <laughs> That's right, sweet justice. You can use X to protect yourself from the objects that audience members throw it. Of course fans of yours might toss good stuff like coins. Don't attack them. Well that's all I've got. Here ends my scintillating lecture on special moves. Let's go back inside. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the, uh... Wow, astounding! This map has radar-like functions. It now shows the location of the crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rockport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so I'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that it is somewhere beneath the city, that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you could, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious, where did you get that map anyway? And Princess Peach. Really? Your Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the Crystal Star and my suspicions about Pedal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she'd try to go to Pedal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, did you go? If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up with her. Collecting the Crystal Stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about P Princess Peach and the suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could take up, could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. And we're off. Wait just a moment. Oh. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called dangerous a badge. Dangerous to go alone, take this. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, dangerous to go alone. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing when the, what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? I think we're good on that, right? Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure? This is the last time I'll ask. Do you want practice? No. No. <laughs> By the way, you need flower points to use the Power Splash move. In battle, you should watch uh, not only a, your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. So, um, I know there are shortcut buttons and I forget what they are. That's not hey, the Pat, shortcut hey. button for badges. Ah. Um, this is the shortcut button for badges. It's uh, the right button. Okay, okay. Um, so yeah, to equip a badge, let's go here. All badges, equip the badge. Yeah, BP over on the left side there. You can only equip as many badges as your BP will allow. Oh, uh, so yeah, let's, uh, actually let's save. Because that's a load of text again. Yeah. <laughs> actually, no, there's there's a save block right uh, next to the pipe downstairs. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it'd be very sad if like an emulator crash happened right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably won't. I am I'm using Dolphin and it's pretty stable, it's just that yeah, yeah. my my computer is not the best one in the world. Yet. <laughs> Rose hands together. <laughs> so now we can go over here. <laughs> mm. Things kind of soggy. Interesting. You? You? Ouch! It hurts. Hey, buddy. Dang, you're just minding its own business, and you decided to stomp on it. Just up and whack someone's tootsies like that. <laughs> it's indeed pretty rude. <laughs> Someone was serious, Moxie. That's who. Cool. Would you look at that handsome, saucy, mustached guy? He's in a world of hurt. Now give him the taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Can't run away. That's a blooper. And a really super humongous one, too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G-R-O-S-S! -S, gross! Max HP is 12, attack is 1, and defense is 0. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its, both its tentacles, they'll fall down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and house on that slimy nasty... House? On that slimy nasty blooper. Kinda rude, Kimbella. Hey, Mustache! You're thinking it tastes good, aren't you? I admit it. Yeah, you want to snack on these tentacles, don't you? Um, um. <laughs> Which Someone's one do you warning. Say? <laughs> You're darn bloopin'. <laughs> You're darn bloopin'. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I was incredibly lucky on that timing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I look pretty sick. <laughs> Okay, so can't use the hand, but gotta jump on this. Boom. Boom. So, power smash it. 
There we go. Perfect stylish. <laughs> Gotta build that audience. Yeah. Only four people. Unfortunately, we are out of FP. We can't do that again, so... Unfortunate. It's fine, we got him. <laughs> Not a very hard boss. No. <laughs> 20 star points, nice. That's a lot. Blue blue. Bye. See ya. Alright, that gives us some hot points. And off we go to chapter one. Yeah. Chapter one. Castle and dragon. Dragon. It's a real original name, thanks. <laughs> Meadows. Well, here we are, the Pell Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario, the start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Make sure to save regularly. Oh dear. Uh, uh that seems problematic. Oh, yeah. What was that? <laughs> oh, is that a Wow, Mario, look. It's dragon. Well, Castle and Dragon. Problem solved. Chapter two. <laughs> Yep, let's go. <laughs> totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. Weird, Professor Frankly said this place is peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started and there's already intrigue. Come on, Mario, let's go. Ah! Oh, no. Walked right by it. Oh, well. It's gone oh, forever well. now. <laughs> Alright, we don't need it. I think the audience thing is kind of an interesting point of this game. Yeah. When Mario is in danger, sometimes causes enemies to miss. Which is exactly uh, what you were talking about earlier, Zuzio. Yeah. So if Mario is in danger, which means 5 HP or less, uh, Mario's evasion goes up if that badge is equipped. Also, hello, Sim Guy. Oh. Hi, Sim Guy. Get out of here! <laughs> also, don't worry about losing a, uh, an audience member when that happens. Usually that audience member will get replaced right away, as long as it was an offensive thing. <laughs> if, it was, uh, if it was someone throwing you an item or a coin, then you'll lose audience members. That makes sense. Oh jeez. I don't know. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, that one has an item. Ooh. Now, if I'm not mistaken, enemies can use items as well. So if we're not fast enough, he can just use whatever he's holding there. That sounds right. Which I forget what it is. Oh yeah, that's another thing that can happen. <laughs> the scenery can fall. And that does cause damage, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> a lot going on. Huh, we didn't get that item. I guess it's not guaranteed. Maybe not, yeah. Maybe there's like a character later that can snag him. That could be. What's down here? I mean, what's up here? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Don't think we can get that right now. Yeah. Put a pin in that. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever fi find yourself like wondering what to do, just press X and use my towel ability, okay? I might be able to look up some useful info that will help us on our, on our adventure. Hey, J-Pop. How you doing? Hi, J-Pop. Working out. Nice. I've been meaning to, to get back into Ring Fit, honestly. It just hasn't like happened yet. Yeah, I would like to get the game. Be helpful playing it. Ooh. There are secrets. What? The background is a level. I don't think there's anything over here. <laughs> Unless we can go to the next screen. It's not much of a secret though, because this is this one is kind of required. Yeah. Oh, this this is unhappy. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is so long. <laughs> okay, it's over. <laughs> I don't. Oh yeah, there is a star piece over here. Nice. And I don't think there's any. I think you get a slight speed boost if you're jumping. At least in the background. Okay, you can check bushes for things. Might have bones or some bones. I don't know if some some of them might have ambushes. Ooh. Ooh. That's a mystery. I guess we have to use that in battle. I guess I don't remember that item. Neither do I. Mm -hmm. Maybe we blocked it from memory because it tends to be terrible. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> That'll do it. Koopas are so cute. <laughs> Welcome, travelers. Hmm? Where are you, yes? Why, this is Pedalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we have had visitors here. We're kind of remote. The yippity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. He'll just stop yippity visiting. Yippity, yep. Yippity, yep. <laughs> dragon? Hooktail? It must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. This... <laughs> yes. So it's called Hooktail, huh? It's a scary name. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Green Boots, you ever heard of this thing called Crystal Stars? I want this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Hmm? Nope. Can't say that I have. Sorry about that. I don't want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. 
As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, Mirror lives in that pink house up ahead. You should, you should check it out. The pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Uh, how are we doing on... Sucks that if I want the, uh, the HUD to come up, I have to just wait for like 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> And also, that's that's what tells us uh, what our buttons are. So gear, badges, and our party. Makes sense. And journal, by the way. We can check the map. We can check the crystal stars we have. The tattle log. And also, it, an inventory of all the badges we've ever found. I like how there's just one at the end there. <laughs> Uh, that bothers me. <laughs> yeah, that bothers me too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so it's like when, uh, like I, I've been, I, I've worked in call centers for like five years at least, seven years, something like that. And it's when someone, like, is giving their membership number and they just, give the last digit by itself. Hmm. That bothers me and I can't really explain why. And the the worst thing is for uh for scene cards, which is more like a rewards program, on the card itself the last digit is actually on its own. Hmm. Poor you, you look fancy. But <laughs> I'm General White, I'm a bomb and I've lost my hopes and dreams. I'm in solitude always. I must apologize, but I, I I ask that you leave me alone. And empathy that will become inexplicably important later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. If you want to be alone, I'm going to respect that. Yeah. You're a bulber. Ba bulb. Ba bulb. Ba boob. It, it explodes into flowers, you see. <laughs> That's your deal. Bonjour, mademoiselle. It is. It is a beautiful day, no? No, 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 not you, Monsieur Moustache. I am speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Abandon this dollar and come away with Ma. Here, are you kidding? Ew! Nice way you disco wannabe. Take a hike, Bozo the Dork. That was worth it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, sacre bleu! Such a brutal honesty, such a sharp tongue. But uh, I retreat for now. If you change your mind, Shehi, come find me. I told Sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. <laughs> Kubella's not having it. <laughs> also, that wasn't story-based, but I just felt like I had to actually say it. <laughs> yeah, of course. Clean water, clean air, and presumably the dragon is clean too. A bad dragon, apparently. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a pink house. You look conspicuous. It's Koopy Koo, huh? Yes. There we go. At least someone recognizes me. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Surely we won't see this Koops person ever yeah, it doesn't, at all. Yeah, doesn't, it doesn't sound very important at all, no. Huh? Hmm? What's that? Something there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know. You're thieves. You're out. The defense is all Koopa. Respectful. Go on, do what you will. What is he complaining to you? There's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money ticket, you fiends, and my antique shawl, too. I'll save the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. What? Not thieves, you say? What was your story, then? Oh, wait. You folks looking for crystal stars? Oh, why'd you put that before you, Edget? I'm just wasting time here. Crystal stars, you see, Houghton. 
Oh, wait. Why did I hear about those dang things again? Ah, I got it. What tail? What tail's got what you're looking for? Isn't this an uh, enormous ornery dungeon? Uh, this dungeon. <laughs> this enormous ornery dragon eats folks, they say. You know who tail, right? Yeah, probably. They got both the name. All this hook tails brew fly, fly by a snack and have, and have us all uh, have all of us on pins and needles. Why are you reckless fools? I mean, I, are you gallant heroes off to rough it up? What do you want to say? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> this does sound promising. Why, if you can rid us of the hook tail. Oh, uh, I skipped <laughs> that by accident. Hey, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? Uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> what an unselfish man. You're noble <laughs> indeed. Yep, a good egg. Now, what'd you say your name was again? <laughs> Murphy? That's a fine name. It's a fine name indeed. <laughs> well, not Murphy. It's, it's Mario. Mario. <laughs> I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now, let's know. <laughs> Very intent on going to Hooktail's castle, find the secret pipe next near this village. I don't know where it's at, but I know you need stone keys to use that pipe. Keys are in Schwamp Fortress, just past the village. Get them first. Schwamp. Schwamp. Well then, Murphy, get going and take care of that Hooktail monster. Also, I realized the the voice was like completely inconsistent, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, an email. As you travel, you may receive email from people you've met on your journey. You can read these emails on your mailbox SD. Press start pause to access the menu and check your email. You'll find it under important things on your view stream. Oh, oh no. Hello, oh, uh, uh, I'm not gonna bother too much with reading these out loud, but uh, I'll scroll through them slowly enough so that you can... actually read through them. There's gonna be a lot of talking in this game. <laughs> Why is he standing next to a trash can with something on it? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> you all port direct to me. Okay, so uh, apparently we needed a referral to get email service to our Game Boy Advance SD. Weird system, but sure. <laughs> well... Someone's bored. Oh yeah, Paracarrot is shaking his boots. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was injury. Fortunately, if your partner falls into the water, uh, they don't take any damage. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> An old stronghold called, uh, stronghold called Schwamp Fortress lies ahead. Stone Breach lives there. At least it might live there. This gate, this gate is to keep it out. My job is to bring the gate. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Now the gate is open forever, allowing them to attack. <laughs> um, excuse me. Uh, beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how to begin? My name's Hoops. Hey, heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. <laughs> so anyway, I I have a favor to ask. Uh, <laughs> um, well, um, uh, just just forget. It. Never mind. Ignore me. G goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think that was all about? Talk about issues. Yeah. Come on now, don't shame. 
Yeah, yeah. I got anxiety, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> don't speak, Ellipsis. <laughs> Come on. I'm over here. I'm over here. <laughs> Jump over it, sure. Alright. That's a good Patrupa. They've been around forever. Gotta, gotta respect the longevity. The shells are hard, but flip them over and their defense drops to zero. And you know how to flip them over, right? Just jump on their heads. It does take them a couple of turns to uh, come back up right. Yeah. Eel Koopa. The sunglasses are pretty, uh, pretty cool. <laughs> I'll check all the things. <laughs> all the things. Especially since we found. Oh, jeez. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're excited. Um, let's get this guy first, since we can actually take, take him out in one turn. Makes sense. Uh-oh. Oh, no, not like that uh, Poison Shrew matters, we weren't gonna get another one. <laughs> But sometimes, like, if if you do have two poison shrooms, it's actually beneficial to flood the, um, the action command on purpose so that you get rid of them and don't have to worry about hitting triple poison shrooms. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> anyway, we leveled up. Yay. So now we can pick between getting five more HP, five more FP, or three more BP. Uh... Are you gonna pick, or do you want me to pick? <laughs> um, I'll leave it to both you and Chad. I always go with FP first, but you go with FP. What do you What do you think, Chad? What are we going with? Considering there are three options, the first to two gets it. Jewel is saying BP also high. Jewel, hi Jewel. BP is also a good choice. It's just you don't have that many matches yet, so. <laughs> yes, I said let's ask chat. Yes, we want chat's input. <laughs> and first to two, so... I would be okay with BP too. But let's see if anyone else wants to chime in. I'll give it another 10 seconds. No? Alright, then it's a tie, and I roll that we do FP. Fips. Two stars. Nice. Not that'd be very useful at the moment. <laughs> but we have it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so why do we call it a bingo? <laughs> I'm not sure. But uh, that gave us about uh, 25 audience members. That's pretty good. I mean, now it's almost over, but... <laughs> And also, yeah, that, that surplus will go away in the next battle, so they're only around for yeah. this one. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be especially useful for uh, boss battles. Oh, yeah. 
I forgot, I forgot we could also hit trees. Oh yeah. <laughs> This must be Schwonk Fortress. <laughs> Schwonk. <laughs> yep, I just want open. I wonder what we should do. Oh no, who could see uh, this coming? I hit the wrong way. I don't think it would have mattered any, either way, to be fair. Maybe not. We'll see how much defense they have, but probably a lot of clefts usually do. Mm -hmm. That's a ball cleft. Basically a rock monster with a swarthy looking face. It was a rock monster! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, this is kind of mean, but Monkai's really just don't do it for me. Max HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 2. Yeah, this guy's rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. Might be best to attack with, say, a pot wall. Well, that's convenient, they just picked one up. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I did, I did try to, to super block there. Probably shouldn't have bothered. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Now she's thunder against rock. Saint Torque for him. <laughs> yeah, but the sprinklers came on. Uh -oh. Well, this might be a little bit more problematic. If only we had a way to hit them all at once, but uh, I think the power block was it. Yeah. I guess we have the sleepy sheet, but uh oh we have the fire flower. We have two of them. We also have this mystery. Yeah. There's too many enemies on the field. Yeah. There we go, that helps out. Oh. Yeah, I was, again, trying to, try, I'm trying to get into the groove of Super Guard. Yeah. But uh, the, the timing is definitely a little weird when it comes to simulation. You give a proper hi. Well, hello and hi. And also hello, but also hi, but mostly hello. Also, hi. Yes. Okay. Primarily, however, I must issue the response of hello. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> hey, Luigi's in the audience. Oh, hi. <laughs> I forgot that could happen. <laughs> and Luigi being in the audience is actually really good because he has a very high chance of throwing an item. Makes sense. Not this time, I guess, but, uh... You know. <laughs> cool, your VO. <laughs> well, I, I do my best with VO. Hey, maybe this is Strong Fortress. Or maybe it isn't. <laughs> well. Maybe we're all Strong Fortress. Maybe Strong Fortress was inside you all along. Strong Fortress was with the friends we made along the way. <laughs> oh, right, I want to tattle first. That would probably be good. That's a bristle, totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. Max HP is two, attack is one, and defense is four. And four. they're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, his spikes will totally pop out. 
So since you can't jump on it or use your hammer, you better lose an item. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's probably why we found that power block. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That time I just tried to do a regular guard. <laughs> that was the interview to dodge, apparently. Yeah, I'm... Hopefully, the longer I play this game, the more I'll get into the proper move. Yeah, usually that's what happens. Anything back here? I meant to do, but okay. <laughs> well, neutral start. <laughs> um, maybe a power smash and then Kubella. Or the other way around. And a power smash. Yeah. And I failed my, uh, my stylish. No. Hey! Hey, I got it. Right, don't want to be ahead and honk. <laughs> Regular smash, though. And I failed my stylish again! One thing to remember is that, um... Enemies, I believe they lose one star point per level. So they're not worth as much the more you level up. I don't yeah. know if it's they lose one star point or half their star points and round it up. There's XP scaling basically is the point. Yes. Because XP is always based on a hundred scale. Yeah. Ooh, two flowers. I mean, I prefer the mushroom, but, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Might have tempted to drop a sweet treat soon. Coupon. <laughs> oh boy. So to stay one free net at an end. That'll save you about five coins. <laughs> Sometimes that five coins can make a difference. Speaking of ends, by the way, five <laughs> coins. Damn. We have <laughs> right these in this game. To hit this block to replenish all the HP of Mario and his partner. Can you so also replenish all of Mario's FP? However, it will cost the number of coins shown on the block, so be ready to pay. You must pay for <laughs> staying at an end. Those blocks are free in the original Paper Mario. I forgot about that, actually. <laughs> the economy's got rough in this the, the amount of time. <laughs> hmm. I guess. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, it is <laughs> about that point in the stream where we are going to go ahead and take a break. And also, I forgot to turn off my, uh, my face in the break screen. So, there we go. There we go. So, um, we're going to be back in about 10-15 minutes, so in that amount of time, go ahead and uh, get a drink. Uh, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10-15 minutes, we shall uh, hopefully actually get into Schwank Fortress, if that's not where we're, mm -hmm. where we're at currently. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Mm -hmm.